Hey guys, welcome to Big Laws Official. Today I'm gonna to show you my ultimate tip for grip strength to really help you when it comes to things like farmer's holds, Hercules holds, and anything you need to involve in terms of gripping bars when you're competing in strongman. So first thing, anytime you're doing any grip type training, it's good to use some chalk. Uh, I like using liquid chalk, particularly in the gym, it's a little bit cleaner. Um, today I'm using Grip Jizz from Team Affinity. It's an interesting name, it's an interesting color, but it works really, really well. You just need a little dab on the palm of your hand and rub it in. It takes a couple of seconds to dry and once it's dry, you really don't need to reapply any more chalk for the rest of the session. So it's quite good for in commercial gyms where you don't want to make a mess. Um, and it's actually, it works even better outside in warm weather because the, the sun sort of dries it real quickly. But I think the alcohol in it just dries out your hands. It just definitely helps with any type of grip training that you're doing. So behind the back holds. Why do we do them behind the back is often a question I get asked. The thing is, if you do it in front of you, you can lock your fingers into your quads. So if I did it in front of me, and I can squeeze and press my fingers into my quads, I'm actually aiding the grip by, by resting against the quads. Whereas when you do it behind the back, if anything, it makes it harder, because if you pull into your backside or your hamstrings, the, the bar's gonna start biting into your fingers and try and open up the hand. So by doing it behind the back, it's harder. We don't need as much weight, but it really tests the grip, and I found this carries over really, really well for deadlifting, for farmer's walks, anything that involves holding bars. Hercules holds, it's always served me well. It served a lot of my clients well in terms of getting their grip stronger. So I thought I'd kind of show you how I do it, how I train it, and how you can apply it to your own training. I'm doing the 30 second holds because it has better crossover to farmer's walks, Hercules hold type events. But if you're doing it for deadlifting, it's quite good to just do for 10 seconds. So you go heavier, but do 10 second holds, because if you think of a deadlift, you're not gonna be holding that bar for longer than 10 seconds, and it's a little bit more specific to the event that you're doing. Whereas strongman type training, you need a little bit more endurance. So I'm gonna go for the 30 seconds, and you can go for a minute as well. I tend to go minute, 30 seconds, or 10 second holds. So I always do this out of a rack from quite a high pickup. If you're trying to do this from the floor, it's very, very awkward, and if you've got an ass like mine, it'll get in the way. So I do it from a high pickup, we're taking away, everything, I don't want you stressing the legs or the back or anything like that, we're just gonna focus on grip strength. And just a, a little tip for, for the grip. Try and make sure you chalk up where your thumb is gonna lock into your finger. So you want to make sure that the part of the finger where your thumb's gonna lock into is dry. Sometimes when you're doing your chalk in your competition, just put a little bit on top on both hands where your thumb's gonna lock in, it will really help. And then you just stand, grab the bar, double overhand, Lock your fingers around, and then really focus on clamping that thumb into the either the index finger, if your thumb's small, or if you can, really clamp it onto the, the middle finger. Ready? Can you time 30 seconds, Lizzie? I can, yeah, go. <laughs> 10 seconds done. I've got 140 kilos on today, which doesn't seem like a huge amount of weight, but believe me, when you try it, it's, it's pretty tough. And like I said, if I can get up to sort of 180 to 200 for the 30 second holds, then I know my grip's in a, in a really good place. Three, two, one, time. So I actually felt pretty strong today. I, I always start at 140, it's just like my base level to, to kind of get back into it, but it felt quite comfortable. It'll probably feel a little bit harder on set two and set three. I won't give myself too long a rest today, but normally as it gets heavier, I tend to give myself three to five minutes rest between each hold. Do you want to have a go? With one four set? <laughs> Lizzie thinking it's easy? You're not even going to be able to lift that. Your big ass will get in the way. <laughs> but this is me fully locked up. <laughs> uh, not today. Okay, set number two. In time again? Yeah. I'm really just trying to focus on keeping my fingers right around, squeezing the thumbs as hard as possible. I don't know why, anytime, if you watch me on any grip event, I look in agony from the second it starts. <laughs> That's just your face. Yeah. 
I managed to keep holding Time. it. Time. So that one felt a bit tougher. I can feel the forearms pumping up a bit, but feeling pretty solid. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready when you are. <clears throat> Get that money shot. <clears throat> so I have to work hard at this set. Because grip just tires quite quickly. Five seconds. Two, one, done. So there you go. My secret tip for, for getting a strong grip is particularly for deadlifting, farmers walk holding onto any type of bars behind the back holds. Give them a try. Start at a comfortable weight. I think it's hard to say what you should start at. I would always aim to start a little bit lighter, hit that 30 seconds for three sets, and then you can always progress the following week. Let me know how you get on with it. Comment below, and if you feel you can get up to sort of the 180 mark for sets of 30, then you're doing very, very well. While you're here, guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.